All right, y'all. Well, today I'm going to switch over the tires on my wife's 2010 Acura MDX. I'm going to get the winners on because it's getting to be that time of the year. So I'm going to grab my jack. And, well, yeah, so the jack to start with. Texas again. Now we gotta grab the gun. And that's the uh it's like the maximum, it's like the mastercraft ma bleh, mastercraft nut busting gun. Like it works pretty good. Like I've never really had an issue doing the brakes with it or taking tires off. Position the jack, spin it. Uh, there we go. Now she's ready to be lifted, ready to go. Next task is to. Oh, Move the bikes and move the uh, toolbox and whatnot and uh, get the tires out and check the pressure and make sure the correct pressure is on there and if everything's good we'll go ahead and install it. Man I got a lot of garbage I've already like moved the bikes out of the way the bikes and uh, you know, I still got a bunch of stuff. Chainsaw cooler. I think I'm going to put those in the house for the winter. I got my table saw and camping chairs. And I got all kinds of stuff in here. I just We just built this saw, um, shed this summer. And, uh, I mean, it's full. It's full. You might not be able to see any good from there. But... We're gonna move. This cooler's full of camping stuff, so we're gonna put it over here outside. And uh, why not? I'm gonna put the stuff up here. And we're gonna get that moved out of the way. I'll come back to you soon. Today. And there's the fourth one. Ah, next thing we're going to do is Check the tire pressure. They gotta be sitting at about 35 PSI. And if they're not, which I already checked that one up there, it's sitting around 25, 27. This one's sitting around uh, roughly uh, 28. So they're probably all gonna need some air, but 
I'm going to go ahead and put air in them. That's probably going to take me about 15 minutes with my little pump. And then I'll, we'll do the installation. Holy crap, guys. It's snowing. Not heavy, but it's snowing. I don't know if you can see it. There's one tire over there. Got my Ford. Got a little pump. pump. There you go. Now you can see the snow. It's coming. It's uh, November 15th today. So, snow is coming. This is what I try to do every year, is they rust, rust-oleum, shake it up, and then uh, just spray it, spray paint them. I don't need anything too fancy. Sorry if I'm not following with the camera here. There we go. There we go. As good as new. Now we're going to go ahead and jack this side up. Positioned in there, and then, and then there we go. I've got my lug nuts together. And left rear, get that into place. It's like my spray paint job I did. I uh, should line these up a little bit better. show it to you because that'll make that video too long but I'll show you this one forward <laughs> That one's jacked up. Trusty gun over. Oh. Actually, I'm stuck. Bring my gun over. So basically, I'm just gonna take this one off.
get done very soon. But not this year. Okay, last side. Let's reverse these babies. Anyways, you guys catch the drift. I got one more tire to go. Basically, I'm just gonna film the buttoning up and then uh, that'll be it. Basically the next step is to uh, basically bring it for a road test and oh, what? Oh, of course, Weiss vehicle is on empty again. What's new? Low fuel, low washer fluid, bonus, <laughs> lover.
And for my last mission to prepare her for winter, for the whole maybe 50 kilometers she's going to drive this winter. She doesn't go very far down the street to bring the boy to school and, you know, the odd trip here and there, but I think she might put about between two and 500 kilometers a year in this SUV. Which is all good. She loves it. She, it's, it's an old V. It's an old SUV. It's a 2010. But anyways, she's a quick for winter. New brakes on the back. Uh, winter tires. Everything else checks out. It's gonna do an oil change. I'll do that myself in, in the coming days. But we'll close it out here. Thanks guys. We'll see you in the next one.